actions have changed the world. Hello, hello, and welcome back to the world of assassination and the trending contracts. And today's contract, the Schmidt Revenge, set in Whittleton Creek. And the contract ID is up on the screen now for anyone who wishes to have a go at it and has been supplied to us today courtesy of HeadGamer113. So on to our briefing. Forensic evidence has pointed to Helen West as the killer of Frank Schmidt. Eliminate everyone on or around the West property for closure. So for today we have five targets available to us. Uh, we have no stipulations on how we dispatch them or what we wear whilst we do so, but we do have no disguise change, targets only and no bodies found as our optional objectives. So for today's challenge we'll be starting as the garbage man and we're going to have a remote micro taser stored up in the creek shed. We're going to be bringing with us a micro remote explosive, our ever trusty lockpick and our silence pistol. So right from the start and off the bat we need to make our way over to the creek shed and retrieve our taser or explosive whichever way around you have them. We're also going to grab while we're here a propane cylinder for a nice explosive ending or near ending should we say. So we're going to just grab the explosives, grab the propane cylinder and then we're going to head all the way around the map to Helen West's garden. So just as we come across the gardener being taken in for having explosives on him we're just going to hop over the fence we're not trespassing so we can just run straight up to the garden shed we're going to throw our propane cylinder just over by the bags on the ground there and then we're going to hop over the opposite fence and we're going to place our micro explosive on the muffin van here and it's a micro explosive so it fits nicely in that eye hole and no one can see it so with them in place, we're now going to make our way into the, the building via the basement and we're going to do a little bit of setup while we're here. So while we're in here, we're going to overflow the sink and place our taser. So place the taser first, uh, otherwise you, you can't place it once the water's down and you'll only have to drop it. So if you want to be a bit more precise about where you put it, place the taser before turning on the sink. Once that sink has overflown enough and created a decent little puddle, we are going to then stop the sink. There we go, we don't have to worry about anyone noticing at the moment at the very least. Before we leave, we're just going to grab the lethal poison pills off the counter here. And then we're going to make our way up into the house. So we're just going to lock pick the doors here just make sure that the patrolling gardener slash guard isn't in the corridor as we exit he just left the building as we lockpick the door we're going to make our way straight upstairs and into the spare room or the study and from here we can make our way out onto the ledge or the awning and over to our right we should from here get a nice clear shot of our propane cylinder and it will only take one shot because it's already leaking and that's our first target taken care of. So next up we're going to switch to our remote explosive and detonate that. Okay we're going to have to wait this one out a little bit. Unfortunately our next target has panicked and run away. I can see she's just run straight through the house and out the other side. So we are gonna have to wait for her to come back to her usual routine. And unfortunately, the young ladies uh, um, untimely running away has meant that our timing is now completely screwed.
and you may have noticed there is now a gentleman taking photographs of the van he's currently behind the van uh, we can't see him unless we use instinct there he is and just as he's leaving the mayor and his bodyguard are going to walk past and in all of that time the young lady now moves away from the van but at this point there is nothing else to stop us uh, everybody who is going to go past has gone past and when the young lady returns to the van we can then detonate it now, unfortunately we don't see the young lady i think she bounces off the tree so two targets now taken care of we're going to duck back in through the window here that will have caused a bit of panic so we are probably going to have to wait a few people out uh, so let's have a look on instinct and it looks like helen west has already made her way down to the basement so before she cleans up that puddle let's just trigger that taser and that makes free so our next two targets are going to be relatively easy while everyone's running around in a panic we're just going to add our lethal poison to the uh, cup on the counter there and then we're just going to hide ourselves around the corner here and either one of two targets will come through this area uh, firstly for me at least it will be uh, Helen's employee I've forgotten his name Burton I think it is so he's gonna drink the poison and drop down stone dead where he is we don't need to do anything but wait for our final target who is the patrolling guard slash gardener and when he comes back in to use the bathroom we can follow him in and quickly drown him in the toilet so as I said this area this little bit is a bit more random depending on which target arrives first they may arrive together and you'll just have to wait them out a little bit but either the gardener or the server will arrive and you can either watch one die or drown one in the toilet either way once both are eliminated all that's left for us to do is to make good our escape and the nearest available exit will be the bus stop exit so there we go one more trending contract taken care of and we just get confirmation all of our targets have been eliminated according to plan I like to do something a little different because we always get these targets on Whittles and Creek we've managed to achieve all of our objectives and we get our silent assassin rating I have been Anubis and I will see you all in the next video.